Hey everybody, this is Javi, and you are watching the Bowtie Psychic on YouTube. So, um, May, happy May. Uh, it is officially <laughs> uh, the 1st of May, and so <clears throat> there's a lot going on uh, for Aries. I'm actually, speaking of Aries, I'm actually doing this general uh, reading, monthly reading for um, Aries. And so, um, right now, I just tapped into... Um, Aries energy, and I'm getting that they're being told to settle down um, because one is Taurus season, and um, there's a lot of grounding that needs to be happening. There's a lot of Earth energy, um, so all automatically, I'm getting that now. This is a time for Aries to slow down, settle down, and do some uh, retrospection. Um, because in addition to it being Taurus energy, um, the Taurus season rather, um, is also uh, Pluto retrograde. And so a lot of folks are being um, asked to do retrospection and um, think about what's holding them back and what's hindering them uh, from being their best selves. And so um, I have four cards here for, for Aries for the month of May. And so what I received uh, off the bat um, is the one of fire. And so again, what this card is basically saying is that and it was upside down. Okay, this card is basically saying for Aries, it is not time for you to make any sudden move, sudden moves. It's not time for Aries to make any sudden moves right now because what's going on is that throughout the entire month of April, and in some cases February, Aries energy has been dominating the entire world at this point. Um, if anything, if anything, um, every, people have been called to action. Aries is, a, is double fire, so more than ever, Aries uh, was being called to action, but they were also uh, being told to watch their temper. So basically, this is a time for you to reflect on a lot of things, Aries. And so that's why you're being told, you know, by spirit, not to do anything sudden, not to make any sudden decisions or make certain moves, um, because you're being called to do a lot of inner work at this point. Um in addition to um, settling down. So this is a time for you to sit back, relax, do some journaling, uh, also tap into spirit, talk to people about what's going on, um, reach within yourself to see what's going on and see what you are being called to, to let go of. And so um, you also got the card here, um, the 10 of air. And so what this card is saying is that, and it's upside down, you have a, a, all the cards here, you have four of them, Aries, and they're all upside down. Um, and so that means there's a lot of shadow work that's in, um, that's in play here. And so this card, if it was right side out, it was saying like, look, you're living your best life and there's balance in your life and you're stepping into your power right now, especially on an emotional and intellectual level. But because it's upside down, you're being told that there's a lot of releasing that you are to do. There's a lot of introspection that needs to be happening uh, because a lot of you are blocked uh, emotionally. Um, it, to be honest with you, a lot of that blockage in that, um, that, that, that inability to um, not settle down is the reason why um, there's a lot of anger um, and a lot of discord uh, among those who are um, born under the Aries sign. And so you're being told that, look, this is, whew, this is really, really, really the time um, to ask yourself why you're angry why you're dealing with a lot of things, um, why you're struggling with a lot of your emotions, why you are um, uh, literally uh, very uncomfortable and very much afraid of just, uh, just sitting in one place and examining a lot of what's going on with you. Because what's going on, Aries, is that um, 
in the month of May, um, you're be pretty much being asked to, to, to do a lot of shadow work and look into your inner demons and to look into your inner self. You're being asked. It is, in fact, you're being pushed. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Pluto, the planet Pluto, um, as far as it being the retrograde, that is the tower. Um, if you are familiar with traditional tarot, the tower is basically um, spirit's way of saying that, look, whatever you're letting, or whatever you're holding on to, um, you're going to be forced to let go of it. You are not going to be able to um, be who you are um, or keep being who you are and, and acting and behaving the way you are. You're not going to be able to hold on to a lot of what uh, no longer serves you. You're literally being forced by the, the energy of Pluto and, uh, and by spirit to basically let go of uh, whatever emotion or behavior um, that no longer serves you because it will be for your greater good uh, to basically start examining and uh, reflecting on those changes um, and, and basically asking yourself why you are um, um, so uncomfortable with the, the notion of letting go of what no longer serves you. And so this is what this card is coming from. You actually have um, the, 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 um, the four of earth. And so if this were right side up, um, basically you're, this person um, is literally allowing himself to let go of a lot of stuff, even though um, the armor is coming through, he's bleeding, which means that he's making himself vulnerable. And so this is the time, excuse me, uh, Aries, to make yourself vulnerable. It's upside down. So this card is saying that you're literally um, – Fighting vulnerability. You're fighting vulnerability um, within the vulnerability within self, uh, meaning that you are uh, very uncomfortable uncomfortable looking at the self. Um, but I'm also getting to that you are afraid of letting people in um, because if you're vulnerable, you feel like if you're vulnerable with them, then um, they're going to use that information against you, or um, they're not going to understand you, uh, or they're going to do something with that information to twist it um, and, and use it against you in some way, shape, or form. And so um, what that uh, Ricard is saying is that you are not to worry about that because whatever armor that you have is cracking anyway. So people who are paying attention to you, Aries, what's happening is that they're they're seeing it anyway. You're, you're no longer able to lie to anybody. You're no longer able to... Um, keep anything to yourself anymore as far as your well-being because now it's no longer making you comfortable it's no longer making you comfortable and actually it will kill you if you continue to hold on to a lot of stuff this is one of the reasons why a lot of people under the airy sign um i'm getting like a a lot of y'all have health problems um uh, like heart problems or um Anything pertaining to um, uh, like the, the stomach as well, but mainly the heart, uh, where you're just keeping things in and you're storing a lot of stress in, inside of your body. And so your body is about to break down. That's what that, this card is also saying as well. There's a lot of folks who are um, running into health problems because they have, at least those under the airy sign, are running into a lot of physical health problems because it manifested all that, like, pent up rage and all that pent up um, emotion and all those unspoken secrets, they've manifested themselves into something um, that has become um, medical. And so this is literally the time to literally purge um, a lot of the negativity that you have been carrying because if you do not, um, you are going to end up losing your life. Um, I'm getting like the, I'm getting to bring up uh, John Singleton. I don't know whether or not he is an Aries, um, but he uh, recently um, died of a stroke, uh, complications from the stroke. Um, and most people uh, die of, of, of strokes uh, for a variety of reasons, but most of the time it's because of stress. 
And so you're being asked to let go of a lot of that stress areas because if not, um, you're going to run into a lot of medical issues and a lot of medical problems and you're too precious for that. Your energy is needed. It's just needed to be uh, con contained and mastered in some way, shape or form where you're not hurting yourself, which is why in the month of May, you're being asked to let go of a lot of stuff or to allow yourself to uh, continue to do work or to start the work uh, of, of introspection and a lot of purging, a lot of unconscious, um, purging of the unconscious mind, getting rid of all that negativity that's going on in your mind, because it all starts with your thoughts. It all starts with um, the messages that you have been told um, throughout childhood, throughout your, your years. It's no longer, it's no longer, um, it's no longer necessary to keep those, those thoughts going. And so that you're being asked to challenge, question those thoughts, and to get rid of them altogether and replace them with something um, just more affirming. Um, starting with I am. I am capable. I am deserving. I am lovable. I am loving. Something, you know, um, that is going to affirm your spirit so you don't continue to go down this path of self-destruction. And so um, you also got the intuition card upside down. Um, a lot of you know what's going on. Aries, you know what's going on. When it comes to um, your addictions or when it comes to anything that's causing you harm, uh, even when it comes to your overall emotions, you know what's going on. You're not stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I'm getting. And the reason why, I'm, believe it or not, that I'm being very harsh towards y'all um, being extremely nice as much as I possibly can be, but basically, Aries, you're not using, um, you're not following your gut instinct. You're literally not following your gut instinct. Spirit has told you, or source has told you, or whatever uh, higher spirit you connect with, you have been told on a regular basis what you are doing to hurt that's hurting you. You have been told on a regular basis to let go of a lot of things. You have been told on a regular basis to check yourself, to check your ego, and to basically check your intentions when it comes to your behavior uh, and when it comes to your actions. You have been told on so many, so many times, and you have either ignored it or you tried to change the behavior, but something triggered it to where you went back to it. Either way, you are being you are told to um, basically change and basically uproot a lot of what's going on um, within you and basically um, face it. And if it's hurting you, check it out. But you're uh, like completely ignoring those messages and now is manifesting into something to the point where now spirit has to intervene in some way, shape, or form. Like spirit is not going to go away. I'm going to be honest with you. Spirit is not going to go away. Contrary to any sort of belief that we have been told, contrary to any Christian belief where uh, God gives it comes into your life and then to test you, they just go away. That's not how it is. You are basically being tested, Aries, and what's going on is that you're now testing your fate. You are now um, playing with, for lack of better terms, <laughs> You're playing with fire uh, when it comes to your health and your well-being. And so you're literally being told by spirit that um, in so many words, in so many ways, in so many messages that if you do not change uh, what's going on, um, you're going to run into some problems that um, you don't think you'll be able to handle. And this is really not the time to be playing, uh, especially if you're being asked to, um, uh, you know, make some changes. And so... Um, yeah, like you're literally, um, a lot of y'all are just out here playing. <laughs> a lot of you, you know, under the, born under the airy sign, you're out here playing. You're out here putting your life in danger for no reason. Um, you're putting yourself in harm's way um, because you feel like you don't, you don't deserve um, better or you feel like you don't know any better. You're basically, um, you're doing the same thing in, in, working towards getting different results and it really does not work like that um you're being you're basically being called aries to 
settle down and to literally allow yourself, give yourself the opportunity to change a lot of what's going on or to basically do some introspection, um, retrospection, and, and basically ask yourself, look around you, look at your environment and ask yourself, is this something, is this what you, if this, is this what you've always wanted? Is this what you've always wanted? Because our environment reflects how we feel on the inside. Our, our environment and how we treat people is a reflection of, of who we are internally. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter like how many friends you have. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't matter what type of following you have or how many people are following you. You know, on, I'm getting for some, on Instagram or wherever you uh, have a huge following, if you do. Uh, it really doesn't matter what you tell people if you are not if you're if you're not aligned, if your outside is not aligned with who you are on the inside or the person you wish to be on the inside, um, then it's going to show in some way, shape, or form. So you are literally being told, Aries, to be honest with yourself. You're being asked by spirit to be honest with where you are, about where you are, uh, about what you want in your life. You're being asked to do some introspection. That's why you're being told, that's the first card that came up, you're being told to settle down, sit down, and to do some meditation, do some meditative work, and basically be honest about where you are. Because this is not the time to be pointing. It is not only 2000, like 2019 is, is, is beating everybody's behind. Like, I'm, I'm being honest with you because you are being everyone, not just people born under the Aries sign, but everyone on this earth um, we're being asked to let go of things that don't serve us any longer. We're being asked, um, you know, people, places, and situations that, uh, that served us in 2016 will no longer serve us in 2019. You're not the same person. Do not hold on to stuff that does not serve you any longer, Aries. So 2019 is literally pushing us to be better. 2019 is pushing us to be different. You are no exception, Aries. You are no exception, especially with Pluto, you know, being in retro in, in, um, and being retrograde. It's going to be like that so, uh, until October. So this is literally the time um, to, to get some stuff together. So if any of that resonated with you, in fact, I don't expect this reading to resonate with everybody. I meant to say that uh, say that in, in the uh, beginning. I do not expect this uh, reading to um, resonate with everybody. But if it does, please leave a comment, share uh, this video. Uh, also, um, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear uh, what resonated with you, what didn't resonate with you. Um, I am looking very forward to your comments. Also, uh, if you want a more in-depth reading, please contact me, um, bowtiepsychic at uh, gmail.com. Also, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, I'm going to be on Twitter. And uh, I'm also, uh, I also have uh, the Bowtie Psychic podcast, which is on Anchor or wherever you listen to a podcast. I'm on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher and a few others. I think Google Play is one of them. Um, yeah, a few of them. So um, I will put that, all the information in the comments and, or in the description rather. So thank you so much for uh, watching. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will be uh, back with a reading for Taurus. And uh, I'll see you soon. Peace.